There you go. He's already got me on that rock. It's a snook. Oh, uh, yeah. That's my bad. I should have been more aware of that. Oh, you're on. There you go. Alright, well good morning guys. Welcome back to another video today. Today I'm with my buddy Tim here. We're out in Tampa Bay. We are fishing snook redfish, maybe some tarpon later, and uh, Tim got us our first snook of the day here. I actually just broke off on mine. We won't talk about that. We'll just start off with his here, but nice fish dog. We're uh, fishing with live pilchards, so uh, it's not something I do a lot, so this will be pretty neat to do. And uh, it is 50 degrees today. It is freezing cold, and look at that. We got a snook. Just getting us started doing it the right way. <laughs> but today is my second day in Tampa. Yesterday we fished with Brent, which will be obviously the last video um, that you guys saw. And uh, Tim catches them, so we should have a good day. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll put the work in, that's for sure. I got to retie here, and uh, we're going to catch something decent. <laughs> Hooked up. It's a redfish. Dang, that's what I missed. He's got any friends in there? Is he, is he big? Uh, he's nice. Oh yeah, he is. Nice dog. Let's see if I can double up. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, for sure. For sure, nice fish. <laughs> it's gotta be the one I pulled the hook off. <laughs> yeah, it's like 24, 25. <sighs> Tampa Bay redfish. Nice fat little fish. Oh, and we got a dolphin out there waiting for the release, so hopefully he, uh, yeah, yeah maybe try this side of the boat. <sighs> All right, fingers crossed. Oh, hopefully that redfish made it. I am 0 for 2 so far. <laughs> Yeah, it looked like he was running. Right back there. Oh, nice. Bull shark right there. Yep. I'm on. Gotta work him. Oh. Just took a deeper cast in there. Yeah. Right? In the shadow one. The hook was sticking out, so I didn't want to grab him in the mouth. Alright. First Tampa redfish goes, or first Tampa snook is gonna go back in the water here. Go! Go! Nice. All right. Took a few, but you Nailed. One. Yep, first fish <laughs> of the day. All right, way back in there. Oh, come on. You might have a little redfish. Nope, little snook. 
This dolphin is just grabbed something. Hopefully, he didn't grab the snook. <laughs> They're in there, in this little gap. You guys can see how deep it goes back in there. It's very easy for a fish to go left and right and break you off, but just gotta work them out quickly. And luckily, this guy wasn't too big. All right, second little snook of the day right there. Oh, Tim's got another one. Solid. <laughs> Back in the water you go. See him, Tim. Is it a giant? No, not yet. Right on uh, par for the course, right? About 18 inches, a ton of them in here. They're still fun, though. They're though. healthy, though, yeah. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, exactly. They sit on oyster beds, and so you can't throw on them. They're the worst. Sometimes they're super easy. Stuck on some. Oh. oh, I have a fish, man. I, fr I, Dude, it was rubbing against the oysters. I was like, it's a nice snook. It was rubbing against the oysters. That's a big snook. It's like a 27, 28. Right? Oyster, those are oysters right there, right? Uh, I thought you had the grass right there. I had something. It wasn't for... Oh, he's going to go into this trolley. I don't know, man. <laughs> Maybe he had it the whole time and I hadn't realized it, but yeah, I, thought it I was like, oh, I was like, oh, I'm stuck because I pulled it and I felt the tension. I was like, and then it came off and then I felt the same thing again. And there he is. <laughs> Not bad. That's about the, probably the size I hooked in the rocks this morning. Yeah. Yeah. I would say it was probably yeah. Yep. I got him. <laughs> Whew. That's awesome. He can get in here. Yeah, well, check that out. Thank you, Tim. Uh, what is this? Probably 26, 27, maybe even 28 inch snook right here. Very healthy West Coast snook. I feel like I had the uh, idea that West Coast snook are super skinny, but this guy's very healthy <laughs> and uh, definitely fought hard for sure. Yeah, that 65 degree weather definitely helps him fight a little harder every day. That was sick. All right, we're gonna go ahead and lay this guy back in the water and uh, Keep going. Hooked right in the top of the lip there. Best you could ask for right there. Oh, all right, unhooked. One's caught on his belly. All right, in the water you go. He's gonna splash me in the face here, you ready? Another decent one. Fighting well. That one's gonna get blown up. Under the No. <laughs> Well, didn't get to freaking touch him, but didn't break. Yeah, harder to land fish when you're just a little bit higher above the water compared to a ginu. Got to bend down a little bit. Oh well. Oh yeah, yeah. he's on it. That's a good snook. I'm gonna throw in there too. Oh nice. I'm gonna go. Oh. 
Let's go right back in there, hopefully. Yeah, there were multiple on them. Did you see them all? Oh. Uh, I saw I saw that one that was going for it. Let's see if his friends are hungry. It's a good one. Let me go around. Awesome, buddy. Good little fatty. Yeah, for sure. He's, uh, what would you say, 27, 28? 27, 28, I yeah. think he's 28, probably. Might be a slot fish when in season. Yeah, right. There you go. He's nice release. release. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Right there or deeper? Uh, more to the right, but they may be right there. They're in that hole I haven't casted there. Maybe. On already, yeah, it's that hole. <laughs> it's that, the shadow line right there. Let's see if I can cast one in there. Oh, nope, that's not gonna work. That'll work. Oh, yep, it's that. Oh, that's a big fish. <laughs> what kind of jump was that? <laughs> Tarpon jump. Oh, there he goes. That's a good fish. Nice. They fight ridiculously hard. I can't explain it. Like. <laughs> They are fighting so much harder than yeah, for their size, yeah. Weather. Cold weather, I guess. I, I've never honestly heard of that, that they fight harder in the winter time, but like I'm yeah, witnessing it right now. Yeah, so fish actually in the warm water, like tarp and stuff, they build a black acid in their, like under their skin. Uh-huh. That's what really, really wears them out. And then yeah. in the cold water, they don't really build up that black acid, so they, uh, that's why they can fight so much harder for so much longer. I mean, it's ridiculous. These are all 27, 28 inch fish and they're fighting really like 32s, 33s, fighting like five inches harder than, for fighting five inches bigger. Look at that snook. Oh, let me see if I can get them in here. Strong fish. They've also got some current for them too. They're probably just stronger in general than the typical flats fish and they're used to just swimming, keeping up with the current. That's crazy. I was throwing all around there and you threw in the shadow line and got hit. I was like, that's it. That's the reason I wasn't getting hit. They're in the shadow. Ugh, they're that particular shadow. <laughs> all right, well, that is my uh, second nice snook of the day. I probably got, what, four or five now uh, all together. And Tim's got, what do you got, five or six snook as well? Yeah, ton. And uh, what, your snook was about this size as well, right? Yeah. I, did, I did, honestly didn't get to show it to the camera. Or maybe I did, but... Uh, <laughs> Decent fish for sure. They're good fighters. They're awesome to catch on uh, those live pilchards and what an awesome day. Cast after cast. Right, cast after cast, exactly. Definitely a bit different than the East Coast. I feel like a lot of my East Coast snook days, you get one great fish and that's about it, but I'll go ahead and let this guy go. Surely they gotta be stacked up somewhere here with this water flow. Yeah, I'm catching pretty good here. It's like every fish shut off about two hours. Yeah. Oh, it's a red. No, it's a nice snook. I knew he was gonna be in that current, right? Had to have been. Water's a bit darker. He looked reddish. Whew. 
Heads up. Oh, that's a solid one to... Oh! Big jumps. That's a bigger fish. Oh no. Stay with me. Gonna try to stick his head right in the oysters there. <laughs> yeah, that's the biggest of the day for me. You guys can see here the water is flowing from right to left very fast. Just through in there, let the pilcher drift through and with the uh, current. And uh, I'm assuming he was sitting on the bottom with his head facing the current, waiting for something to just go over his head. And it happened to be my pilchard. Nice, thank you. Whew. Yeah, for sure, biggest of the day. It's probably almost 30, no, maybe bigger, 30? 30. 30 on the dot, probably. We are gonna turn the camera around a little bit here, but I'm gonna go ahead and say this is gonna be the last fish of the day. Shout out to Tim here for taking me out on uh, on this Maverick here, sick boat, and uh, we got some awesome fish. This is my biggest of the day, probably 30, maybe even 31. We don't have measuring tape, doesn't matter either way, but thank you, Yeah. this no was problem. awesome, and uh, I think I got a good taste of what fishing in Tampa Bay is like. This was a awesome day, really. We're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. Thank you once again, Tim. Yep. Let's go. Oh. Right back in the water gently. Oh, let me turn the head this way. Nope, stay with me. All right, here's me. probably gonna be a good example of the current flow here. You can see the water rushing past the uh, past this fish's head. All right, go ahead and uh, just hold her there in the water. Maybe a little left to right action. Should do the trick. This fish is biting on my thumb, so it, may ta make, it might take it off. But here we go, let it go. 